sharp your appetite please welcome andy prior and his orchestra with his own arrangement of a georgie fame number what would he say to a glass of beaujolais he'd say yeah yeah <laughs> Every evening, when all my day's work is through, I call my baby and ask her what should she do. I mention movies, but she only to dig that. And then she asks me, why don't I come to her flat and have some supper and let the evening pass by by digging records besides a groovy hi-fi. I say, yeah, yeah. My baby loves me. She gets me feeling so fine, so the way she loves me, she makes me know she's mine. And when she kisses, I feel the fire get hot, she never misses, she gives it all she's got. And when she asks me if everything is okay, I got my answer, the only thing I can say, I say, yeah, yeah. And that's what I say, I say, yeah, yeah. We play a melody and turn the lights down low so no one can see. We gotta do that, we gotta do that. We gotta do that, we gotta do that. And there'll be no one else alive in all the world but you and me. such a thrill it's hard to tell you cause i'm trembling still but pretty baby i want you all for my own i'm even ready to leave those others alone no need to ask me if everything is okay i got my answer the only thing i can say i say yeah 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 can see we gotta do that we gotta do that we gotta do that we gotta do that and there will be no one else alive in all the world but you and me the blood coursing. Well done. <laughs> oh, yeah. Andy, what's the appeal of big band music to you? You're obviously deeply into it. Why big band music? I don't know. I think uh, from an early age, my dad was a band leader, you see, and my, my mum was uh, always involved in operatic music and things like that. And I think what put it off, well, put pop music off for me was in the 70s when I was, uh, I actually was a spangle. Do you know what a spangle is? You used that. to eat them. They were kind no, of sweet. Well, yeah, that, Gary Glitter fan club, you see. And Gary Glitter, I was into Gary Glitter as, well, everybody in my age at that time was. And then the Wombles came along and that did it. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I decided I'd turn to the, the big bands. I started off in brass band music uh, on trombone and uh, sort of progressed into the big band world. The discipline came from the, the brass band world and uh, moved on to big bands. Are there lots of students then at music college who fancy being members of big bands? Is it a popular thing? It is do? now. More popular than it has been for many, many years, I think. Uh, uh, there are sort of degree courses now on playing this kind of music. I don't, really? I don't know how you can get a degree in playing this kind of music. Where are this lot from then? This unlikely group of people here. Well, <laughs> uh, 
all, all sorts. Uh, from a I don't know really. I just found them outside <laughs> when I walked in. Uh, from uh, Plymouth, uh, somebody from Scotland, somebody from Wales. Because they're very from, young. Apart from my uncle Peter on bass. No, he's not very he's young. He's 28 at all. this year, so uh, we <laughs> again. Yeah, again, yeah, well, um. yeah. Our regular bass players in Monte Carlo. It's <laughs> nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is, isn't it? You lost uh, track of him then. Yeah. Well, we only got a day's notice to come, you know. So he wouldn't come back for it. No, I shouldn't think don't he would for Monte Carlo. No. <laughs> now, is image important in this kind of business? You don't look like the classic image of a big band conductor, you know, with the sequin no, lapels. I did do till about 12 months ago. Mm -hmm. And I thought what was happening was we were alienating uh, a younger audience to come and see the band. You know, we all saw him in bow ties, the hair, and it was a nostalgia thing. What we're trying to do now is not a nostalgic thing. Uh, for example, that, the Georgie Fame thing, a brand new version of Yeah, Yeah. And, um, I think it's appealing to the younger people as Who well. do you get to do arrangements for you then? People in the band do it. Steve Sanders, our, our pianist today, he, he's done a few. Um, and, uh, oh, <laughs> the next, we're planning an album called, uh, I think we're going to call it Down and Dirty. Which is oh, a that'll big, do well. Yeah, well <laughs> <laughs> our audience will love that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be like a big band album based on like the current Basie orchestra style. But the guy that's going to arrange that, uh, the music, is actually a mill owner who makes pyjamas. Fine. What's he doing, night and day? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that, that we had a, a, quite a lot of success with the tune and arrangement of Hoagie Carmichael's The Nearness of You on the last album. And the guy that did that orchestration for us works in a, a timber merchant in Wigan. So, uh, and he's still there. But uh, there are so many talented people around not being put to use in this country, you know. There's a TV special coming up, I gather, or a series rather than a Hopefully special. a series. It's, uh, I'm, I'm signed to uh, a other TV company. We're going to be working together with the BBC early in the new year to do, uh, hopefully, a series. We're doing a one-off one special to start off with, but we're going to have a 34-piece orchestra every show. Um, and... Uh, I'm going to be there every week hosting the show and have international artists coming Now, that's out. a great thing because a lot of people say variety is dead. There's no, you know, no sort of big TV man wants who to put this on Who is it that says it's variety Not dead, Not the people though. who want to watch it. No, they don't. No. Some people are a little bit out of touch, aren't they, somewhere? I reckon they are. Yeah. Do you like variety? Do you, do you... They come here for that. We give them yeah, that. Yeah, so, uh, what, so what kind of guests are you going to be hoping to get? Well, I, I can't really say. I've, I've oh, go on. Well, you know, uh, somebody big in America hopefully will be coming on to the show. Not a big F. Big F. Fred. Yes, Fred. Fred Stevens. Fred Stevens. Well, the spoon player mean. from Accrington, who now lives in. Uh, Known as old, <laughs> as old Green Eyes. Old Green Eyes. Yes. 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 The sky's the limit with a show like that. We can get who we want. You know, hopefully, touch wood. Um, the, the new album is called All Right, Okay, <laughs> You Win. Yes. Which I remember last time you you <laughs> did mention. I to got me. told off for plugging the album too much on this show, ladies and gentlemen. So I promised that this show I will not say anything about our new album which is out in the shops right now. <laughs> I won't say another word, but what I've, I've got a present for you. I just thought... I would. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Sit down and behave. <laughs> now on this... Cheap, cheap what but a, effective. What a, what a lark. <laughs> I've looked at this, there's all sorts of stuff about <laughs> standards as you'd expect, like, all right, OK, you win. We've got a, you're going to play a couple numbers more for us during the show. One of them is Andrew Lloyd Webber's Love Changes Everything. Yes, the yes. other one, though, is a composition of your own called Beware the Man with Love in His Eyes, which... Yeah, it started off that as a poem for a friend of mine who, uh, who I know is uh, still a friend of mine called Natalie, who, who was having a little bit of problems with a, a gentleman. And I decided to write a poem because he was a friend of mine. And uh, then I met another friend of mine who was into James Bond films, and he wanted me to write him a piece of music. So when I was writing the music or thinking of a tune, the lyrics and the tune seemed to fit together. So what we came up with was a, a pastiche, if you want to call it that, of a, the next James Bond film title. Oh, It'd right. never be you, used. You like, might get uh, it, though. You right? never know, by whom, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll keep our fingers crossed. You will hear that at the very end of the programme. There's just one thing I have to ask you. Yes. And that is, you know, you conduct this lot as well as singing. Yes. Well, have you noticed that when you're singing at the front of the stage, they're managing perfectly well without you, behind your back? I've never looked, actually. Yeah, well... Yes, but watch on one of the numbers that's coming up. I do actually do little wiggles and, and things and make little signals well, to them. So yeah. they do, uh, do... Do you need me? Silence! Goodness <laughs> me. They're terrified of me. <laughs> we'll watch the wiggles later on. Andy Pryor. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You've just been done there, haven't you? Sorry, you know. I may never will. All that time for more music with... An unusual arrangement of Andrew Lloyd Webber's Love Changes Everything from Aspects of Love. Please welcome back Andy Pryor and his orchestra. <laughs> love, love changes everything. 
everything Hands and faces Earth and sky Love Love changes everything How you live And how you die Love can make the summer fly Or a night seem like a lifetime Yes, love, love changes everything Now I tremble at your name Nothing in the world will ever be the same Love, love changes everything Days are longer, those words mean more Love, love changes everything Pain is deeper, deeper than before Everything brings you glory, it brings you shame. Nothing in the world will ever be, ever be the same. Barrow anywhere, they're going to see us off the premises with an amusing little number. Beware the man with wine in his glass. Sorry, beware the man with love in his eyes. Cheers! <laughs> Lies he will tell. 
taunt you right into his lap Broken heart. You've learned your 